everyone and welcome back to our channel. If you use Linktree to organize your links, you might want to add a Google form for signups, surveys or feedback. Now in this video, I'll show you how to add a Google form to Linktree in just a few steps. So let's get started. Now the first step is to get your Google Forms link. And to do that, just search for Google Forms and click on the website. Now once the website appears, use your account's credentials, your Google account's credentials to log in. Now once logged in, you'll be directed to your Google Forms dashboard. From here, go to the recent forms section to view all the recent forms you created. Now, the, sec the second step is to choose the form. Now I'm, for this example, I'm going to choose this one and I'm going to click on it. Now, to copy the link for the form, just click on this share button right here and then uh, switch uh, the restriction from restricted to anyone with the link and click on copy responder link, this button right here to copy the link in your clipboard now the second step is to open your link tree dashboard and to do that just go to linktree uh, linktree.ee and log into your account using your account credentials now once logged in click on add new link in the dashboard as for the third step is to add the google forms link and to do that, just paste the Google form URL into the link field and in the title field type something clear like fill out my forms or sign up here. And after you finish, click save and check that the link appears on your link tree page. As for the fourth and final step is to test the link. And you can do that by opening your link tree page and click on the new Google form button to test it if it opens properly. Now for additional tips, customize your button style to make the form stand out and if you want more responses, share your link to your URL so on social media. And that's it. Now you know how to add Google Forms to Linktree in just a few clicks. If this video helped, don't forget to like and subscribe and feel free to leave a comment below the video if you have further more questions about this topic. Thanks for watching and see you again in the next tutorial.